Hello everyone, I welcome you to my chemistry class. So today we are going to start the topic matter and its composition. But before we do that, I want you to know much about the chemistry. Because in the previous classes, you were studying the chemis physics, chemistry, bio as one subject that is science. But now, as you are going to study the three divisions separately, so you should know about the subject which you are going to study. You should know what is the scope of the object in our daily routine. Do we encounter any chemistry in our daily routine? Do we use any articles related to the chemistry? Or why we are studying this subject? So, I would like to give a brief introduction about the chemistry first. Chemistry is actually the branch of science that deals with the structure, composition and properties of matter. So chemistry is a branch of science that deals with the structure, composition and properties of matter. And matter Anything which occupies space and has mass is called as matter, anything. If I take this marker, if I take, if I um, ask you to talk about chair or table, everything is matter which surround us. Anything which you keep has some volume and has some matter contained in it is called as matter. So chemistry deals with the structure. Structure means what is the composition actually the matter has? What is the basic arrangement of those particles which the matter has? And what are the properties? What are the melting point? When it will boil? Will it conduct electricity or not? Everything related to that. And also it deals with the changes that matter can undergo. So the chemistry, the scope of chemistry is not limited. Chemistry plays a very vital role in our daily routine. Almost in every field it is playing an important role. So let us discuss and try to brief the scope of the chemistry in our life. So it deals in the branch of agriculture as well. How now it deals with the branch of agriculture? As we know that population is increasing day by day and the demand for the food, variety of the food and quality of the food has undergone a lot of change. So we need a food which has a quality, which has a variety and moreover we need the production, increase the production amount also. So in that case also chemistry plays a role. Now let me tell you how it plays a role, important role. See, we need a soil to plant a uh, plant. We need a soil to plant a plant. So in that case also, we have to add the fertilizers. Fertilizers are again the chemicals. These, when these are added into the soil, they increase the fertility of the soil so that the plant can grow well and it can also increase the production of the crop. And also when the plant is growing, it encounters many pests, many organisms that can harm it, can cause disease and all. So we use Pesticides. Pesticides is also a big branch. We have fungicides, we have this thing, rodenticides, many more. So basically these all come under pesticides. So pesticides are used to kill pest, the microorganism which cause the disease in the plant. So again, these are the chemicals. So uh, we add, when, like if you buy a jam from the market, you can use it within the uh, period of manufacture to the expiry date. Within that period, you can use it. How you can use it? Because it contains preservatives. So again, preservatives also is a chemical compound. So we see that there are a lot of things which we are using in agriculture comes from the chemistry. So it plays an important role in the branch of agriculture as well. Or the other thing, it, it plays an important role in comfort and luxury as well. How it is helpful in case of comfort and luxury, let us see. The building material which we use, like the cement, sand, you know, everything, that is all the chemical compound. The metals which we use, also a chemical compound because metals are very reactive. They don't occur in nature as such. They occur in combined form. The form is ore. So there are certain processes by which we can extract the metal from the ore. So again, chemistry is used. So likewise, we have many domestic articles which we are using like perfumes, cosmetics and all much more. These are all chemical compounds. So again, it plays an important role in comfort and luxury as well. The other thing, it plays a role in entertainment also. To amuse yourself, 
you see movies, you listen music, you know, all these comes from chemistry. Chemistry again plays an important role. See, the phonographic records that you listen contain PVC. PVC is polyvinyl chloride, again, a chemical compound. Moreover, the films that you use in camera to click pigs is again made up of celluloid, that is a chemical compound. So it plays an important role in entertainment as well. Moreover, it plays an important role in transportation. See, the petrol, diesel, which we are using, again, a chemical compound. It plays an important role. You look at this carefully. Uh, it plays an important role in health and sanitation as well. You know, there are so many incurable diseases out of which cancer and AIDS are incurable. You know, with the passage of time, with the development in chemistry, we have the cure for cancer and AIDS as well. For the cancer treatment, there is drugs like cisplatin, taxol, which has made the cancer curable and it has saved many lives. And AIDS, which is acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, was again incurable. But now, with the development of chemistry, with the development of the science, technology, we have the uh, drug, life-saving drug for the AIDS as well. That is AZT, azetothiamidine. So again, these are the chemical compounds. Moreover, many more drugs we are taking nowadays. Like we have analgesics. Analgesics are the painkillers. We have antibiotics, which we eat to cure against infection caused by bacteria, virus, fungi and all. We have transculizer, which reduce stress. Like if you, are, you have some pain in your uh, this thing, nerves or something like that, so you can take the transculizer. It reduces the stress and give you the calm feeling. And moreover, you have the disinfectants like DDT and all. You take many tonics, vitamins. These are all chemical compounds. So chemistry plays an important role in that case also. Not only limited to these field, it also help the, uh, it is also helping a country also, like how it is helping to build the alternative source of energy that is nuclear energy. You know, we know as the population is rising, our natural resources are depleting. So we need some alternative source for that. So nuclear energy, which is mostly generated in nuclear reactor by use of uranium-235 is again a chemical compound. So, it, though it is found in nature, but the enrichment process or using it or the reactors which are using are again, all chemistry is involved in it. Uh, one more, it helps in the defensive purpose of country. How? It helps us in making many war related things like dynamites, like many poisonous gases which we use. So, they all provide defense to the country. So, Chemistry, as I've told you, so many branches are there. See, agriculture, comfort, this is health and sanitation, entertainment, transportation, the defensive purpose, nuclear energy. So, so many branches, almost in every field, chemistry is playing an important role. So, you must know that the subject you are going to study is very important.